There's an AI tool that makes creating KDP coloring books faster and easier than ever. And it's time that you know about it. Now, if you've ever found a niche that looks promising, it has low competition, high demand, and books that you could realistically make, you've probably run into the same problem. Creating coloring pages either takes too long, the quality isn't consistent, or the tools are way too expensive and complicated to use. For years, I tried everything, hiring illustrators, experimenting with different AI tools, and even designing from scratch, but the problem was always the same. It took too much time, the quality wasn't consistent, and I felt limited in how much I could actually customize. That's why I'm grateful I found this AI tool that can do all of that and more. What's different about this tool is that it combines AI with powerful design tools, giving you the ability to generate professional coloring pages quickly while still having the control to edit, refine, and make the designs your own. You can create coloring pages and book covers using something called smart boards, and we'll touch more on that later. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to use this AI tool to create beautiful coloring pages that you can sell on Amazon. I'll walk you through the process step-by-step step so that by the end, you'll see why this has become one of my favorite tools for publishing. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Jeff, and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. So if this sounds like you, feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, before we get into the tool, it's a good idea to know what kind of book we're making. So I already did the research ahead of time and I found this one, Cute Cat Coloring Book, Bold and Easy. And the reason I chose this niche is because total results right here, 277. And if you know from my previous videos, I like to look for about a thousand or less because this just tells me that the competition is gonna be lower. It's gonna be a lot easier to get ranked here on the first page of Amazon for this specific search term. And when we actually look through these books, the first book right here, independently published, which is exactly what I look for, ranked at 84,000. And if you know from my previous videos, I like to look for three or more KDP books that all have a bestsellers rank of 300,000 or below. So that's one right there. The one right after it, Cozy Cat's Coloring Book, ranked at 21,000. That's book number two. And then this book, a little bit higher, 800,000. So we're gonna look for that third book. This one right here, Cat Moments, independently published, ranked at 1,562. This one right here, ranked at 89,000. Just, just keep looking for a little bit more. We have this one, 1.2 million, 800,000, 2 million. This one is 485,000, so that's good. This one right here, 216,000, 335,000. And so we see plenty of books selling in this niche. And one thing more that I like to look at right here, niche score 59. Usually I like to look for at least a score of 50. So this passes that. And then Titans Pro Analysis, just to look at this, demand is a five and it's green. Opportunity is an eight out of nine. So a lot of potential here for this niche. So let's look at an example to see what the interiors look like for this book. This one has that bestsellers rank of 21,468. We can see 30 day royalties from Titans Quick View, 726 to $1,089 per month. And the 30 day sales anywhere from 336 to 504 units per month. Now this one is titled Cozy Cat. It is a bold and easy coloring book. The reason I like these types of books is because there's not a lot of pages. So notice only 40 original illustrations, which means that if you can find an AI tool that can create these types of pages for you, 40 illustrations is really not that much. Total pages, 89, so less than 100 pages. And the price for this book is $9.99, which is another reason why I like this niche is because these types of coloring books you can sell at a higher price without having to cut into your royalties. Now, when looking at the sample, it doesn't really have any pages on the interior that we can look at, except for this one right here. But on the back cover, there are a few pages here of the interior, which is great to see because when we use the AI tool, we can actually use these as inspiration for our own coloring book. So there's one here with a cat in Christmas lights with a Christmas tree in the back. Here's another cat in a grocery bag with some groceries, cat in the dishwasher, and some more scenes right here. It's really great for inspiration. Now looking at the A plus content, we can see here are some interiors fully colored in and then some more pages of the interior. These are actually the same ones on the back cover. And then a few more right here, some colored in, 
some not, but kind of just recycled from these previous images right here. But this is a great way to kind of see what we're dealing with if we want to compete with this type of book. Now let's go back up here. Let's grab the 30 day sales and plug it into the calculator here. So 504, multiply that by the number that we're going to get from KDP's printing cost and royalty calculator. So I already put in all the info here. This is an eight and a half by eight and a half inch book. The page count is 89 with a list price of $9.99. So when I submit that, we see on the Amazon.com marketplace where most of your sales are going to happen, estimated royalty $3.15. So if we go ahead and plug that in here, $3.15, we get over $1,500 per month in estimated royalties. So now you've seen the research and the potential this type of book has, but here's where most people get stuck. How do you actually go from an idea to a professional looking coloring book that you can upload to Amazon? In the past, this part was a headache. You either spent hours trying to make the pages yourself, paid freelancers to do it, or wrestled with complicated AI tools that didn't always deliver. But with this AI tool, this process is completely different. In just a few clicks, you can generate clean professional coloring pages, customize them however you want, and build an entire book in a fraction of the time. So let me take you inside and show you step by step how this works. Now this AI tool is actually part of this platform called Kittle, which is a browser based design platform with AI and many other creative features, including explore templates, generating images, which is one of their strong suits, restyling images, removing backgrounds, along with a whole host of other features. However, they have a new feature called smart board where you can add a graphic or a design. You can generate a smart board and then you can do these things right here where you can create variations of this image or any image and really create anything that you want. And when you apply this into coloring pages, the results are actually pretty amazing. Now I'm on the main dashboard here and I'm just going to go ahead and click to create a new project. And I'm going to go ahead and put the dimensions eight and a half by eight and a half inches because that is the size of the book. And then one other thing, you want to increase DPI to 300. So make sure you do that. Now I'll go ahead and create that. Now here is the artboard that we're talking about. And if I go ahead and click on the artboard up here and click smart board right here, it creates this purple looking board called a smart board. Now here on the right hand side, this is a beta tool. This is brand new. You can describe your variation with a prompt. Now what you can do is you can put something here. For example, if I go over here to images and I look for a image, a vector or anything, let's say look for something, a style that I like. And let's go with this image right here of a unicorn, add that to the project. This is one way to go about this. You can use this as the inspiration for this smart board. So when you click over here, you can see that icon pop up right here. And then you can make variations of this image into the smart board. And so let's zoom out a little bit so you can see this. So if I just simply type butterflies in the background, I'm going to go ahead and generate that. It's going to take about a minute to generate these smart boards. So let's just wait it out. And as you can see, that's exactly what it did. It took the previous image and just modified it and put exactly what I wanted in the background. So if I go ahead and click on this and make a smart board from here, it's going to use this image as the inspiration for this new smart board. Or I can go ahead and click on the main artboard from here, add a new smart board, as you can see, the flow goes down here, which means that it's connected this artboard and I can go ahead and add something else. Let's say mountains in the background and generate that. That's going to take about a minute. While I'm doing that, I can also do another smart board right here at the same time. So if I wanted to make edits to this, let's say butterflies are great, but we want to add something else. We want to add another element. And so we want to add stars. Let's go ahead and generate that. So you can have multiple generations happening at the same time. And as you can see, it took that main image and it put mountains in the background, exactly what I wanted. Now, let's just wait for this one. This one has about 20 seconds left. And there you go, added stars in the background along with the butterfly. So you can see how this tool kind of works. So I was actually playing around with this tool for this cat coloring book, this bold and easy coloring book. And so what I did was I started with an artboard with nothing in it. And then I started creating smart boards from blank. And so when I click on here, you can actually see the prompt that I used. So for this first one, this was a black and white coloring page, bold and easy of a cute cat playing in the kitchen. 
So I'd say that's actually pretty good. I don't really see any issues with this image at all. Everything looks really, really good. And so I went ahead and did the same thing and just changed a little bit of the prompt, a black and white coloring page, bold and easy of a cute cat playing in the bedroom. And this is what it came out with. Very, very high quality. Kittle is actually very powerful. It's very amazing the things that it can produce. So I just did it again. The prompt for this one same thing in the beginning but i did cute cat playing in the yard and there you go very very high quality here's a close-up of the actual image so let's go on to the next one this one very simple cute cat playing with a ball of yarn i don't really see any issues anywhere when i'm trying to dissect and analyze this image now the next one right here is a cute cat wrapped in christmas lights with a christmas tree in the background now, what I did was I actually used the book that we looked at, their interior pages, as inspiration. As you can see, here's one right here. This is a cat wrapped in Christmas lights with a Christmas tree in the background. So this is the inspiration that I used. And you can see what Kittle came up with. Now, what you can do with this, like I showed you before, you can click on the smart board and create a variation of this. And that's exactly what I did. And I just wanted to try Halloween theme. And as you can see, it turned out pretty good. Now this tree needs to disappear. But other than that, I mean, we have bats in the background. Probably can do without the gray background, but we can go ahead and regenerate this if the result is not exactly what we want. Now, I just kept doing that for this entire book. Here's another inspiration from that example that we looked at. This is a cute cat inside a paper bag with a loaf of bread and pineapple along with groceries on the counter. And you can see where I got the inspiration, which is right here, this bag right here. I just wrote a prompt on exactly what I saw. And to be honest, I think mine turned out a little bit better. So I kept working on this. Here's another one right here. This one is a black and white coloring page, bold and easy of a cute cat messing with the dishes in the dishwasher. So this is my version. And this book that we looked at, this is their version right here. So as you can see, very similar theme Theirs looks good, mine looks good. And so I decided to make variations of that prompt. And then this one taking a nap in the bed, you can see what it looks like. And then I decided to do this one, eating chips, getting fat. And then I decided to do one more, typing on the computer. As you can see, very similar, just variations right there. And then some more here. This one is taking a nap on the bench in the park with the tree in the background, butterflies floating around. Very, very good quality. Here's another one right here. A cute cat playing hide and seek with another cat in the kitchen. Another one right here. And keep in mind, guys, this is all on the first try. This is a cute cat playing in the hamper with clothes hanging on the line in the background. Turned out really, really good. This is a very powerful tool. Here's one with a cat alongside a heater. And this one right here is a cute cat sitting with another cat looking through the window to the outside where it's raining. So all in all, very, very good images. And you can kind of see how this flow works and how these smart boards work. Now, this also works with covers. So I actually worked on that. Now, this one right here, I kind of messed up. So this is what I said, full color, bold and easy of cute cats hanging out in the living room with plants and comfy things around them book cover but it actually read it as i wanted it to produce an actual book cover as you can see this is, looks exactly like a book but the cover itself is actually very very good so i went and played around with it here's one right here and this one i just removed the book cover and this is what it came out with but this is not exactly what i want and so i did one more try and this one right here i used full color bold and easy of cute cats hanging out in the living room with plants and comfy things around them with the title cute cats coloring book now you actually don't need if you don't want to add a title here with the smart boards because you can actually add it here through kittle itself which gives you a lot more flexibility in how you create the title because there's just a lot more customizations that you can do but you can see with the smart board feature just how powerful this is that you can even create these covers along with just the entire book all right here. I have all the pages that I need for this book. I actually need to create a few more pages, but it's so easy to create. Now, keep in mind when you're generating these images from the smart board, it's going to take tokens and to produce in high quality, it's 42 tokens. And so if I click here, tokens, 
you can see my balance right here. But if I get more tokens, you can see for $12, that's 2000 tokens. That's more than enough to create a coloring book. So you will need to make sure that you have enough tokens when you're using the smart board feature. If I build this out right here, this will be the first page. This is typically a book belongs to page. So if I just add a headline here, this book belongs to, that's smaller. Then we can change the text. Let's go with this one right here. Let's move you up here. One thing you can do is you can transform these and you can kind of play around with this. That's exactly what I was saying with Kittle. You can kind of just do anything that you want. You can distort it, you can arch it. There's a lot of things. So if we just do something like that, put a border weight on it here, text color white, transform it, put a little bit of waves here. This book belongs to, now we can go ahead and go back to elements here, look for a line. And there you go, this book belongs to. Now the next image typically is going to be a blank page. And so if I click on artboard and I add new artboard, you can see it shows up right here. So I'm gonna just rearrange it. So as a last example, if I go ahead and click on the artboard, click on new smart board, it brings it down here. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this prompt, click on this smart board, put that in, and we're gonna change this. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this part. And we're gonna go ahead and try to recreate this image right here where this cat is in a watering can. So let's go cute cat in a watering can in the garden with flowers all around. And then let's see what it comes up with. It's gonna take about a minute to generate. And then there you go, as you can see, another one done very, very well. So all you have to do is just keep playing with your prompts and you can see pretty soon, you can have your project filled in with all of these images. All you're gonna have to do is rearrange this correctly so that you can go ahead and download it and it'll be ready to upload onto KDP. And remember the cover is already right here, ready to go. So this tool makes both covers and interiors. And when you're all said and done, it should look a little something like this, where you have your first page, your book belongs to page, a blank page, because this is gonna be the backside to this page. And then your first image, followed by a blank page, your next image, so on and so forth. Just rearrange it in this kind of manner and you're gonna have a completed book in no time. Just make sure you have about 40 images or 40 illustrations, and then you'll be good to go. Just follow this method right here. And in order to save it for KDP upload, just hit right here, this download button, and you're gonna do all artboards and make sure you choose PDF and you wanna combine all the artboards into one file. You can optimize quality and then just hit download. So that's how you can use Kittle to create professional quality coloring books for Amazon KDP, faster, easier, and with way more control than most other tools out there. If you're ready to try it out yourself, Kittle has given me a special offer for you. Use the link in the description below and enter promo code JeffYT to get 25% off your first month on any Kittle plan for new users. And if this video helped you see what's possible, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. With that being said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.